First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Hebrew, it's called Hello, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahach, Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity and peace. Blessings and healings on to the elect and the multitude because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today, man, I want to talk about this. You know, it's a World War Three update um, and Ezekiel 38 update. It says, Erdogan says Turkey and Russia to study Putin's gas hub proposal. You know, because just last week or two weeks ago, uh, 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 the Nord Stream 1 and 2 got sanitized and everybody think it's the Americans. So Putin, he went to uh, Turkey and they want to use the uh, Turk Stream pipeline, you know, from uh, Erdogan, from Turkey, man. And that just brings to pass Ezekiel 38, you know, uh, the house of Togoma and Gaga Magog working together, just like it said in Ezekiel 38, man. And I also want to talk about what's going on in Iran because they're getting close, you know what I'm saying? And then some other stuff I'm going to bring, you know, to the forefront. But uh, let me read a little bit of this. Size will work together to set up a distribution center in Turkey to export more gas via Turk Stream gas pipeline, Turkish president says. Ezekiel 38 coming to pass right in people's face, man. Um, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says his government and that of Russia have instructed their respective energy authorities to immediately begin technical studies on a Russian proposal that would turn Turkey into a gas hub for Europe. And, um, you know, man, Iran's been helping Russia in that Ukrainian war. And now um, Turkey's about to help Russia, man. So in... You know, in tow, man, what? Russia's going to be a guard onto Turkey and unto Iran, just like it says in Ezekiel 38. Everything's coming together, man. Everything's coming together, man, for this ultimate war. Russian uh, President Vladimir Putin this week floated the idea of exporting more gas through the Turk Stream gas pipeline running beneath the Black Sea to Turkey after gas deliveries to Germany through the, Bal the Baltic Sea Nord Stream pipeline was halted now. If America sabotaged the Turk stream, America is sabotaging a NATO ally. You know what I'm saying? And then what's that going to bring to pass? The beast shall hate the whore, man, because we all know they're probably going to do it. You know, so everything's just spinning in the wheels, man. Everything's just going to how about Shemeshah's way because he controls it anyway. All his words is coming to pass. They're not being void, man. Just like he said, man, let me get this real quick. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be the go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing wherein I sent it. You know, so it's inevitable. What well, Yahweh Shemeshah said he was going to do and things that was going to happen is going to happen because he's the most high, man. He wrote this whole thing out. Revelations 1 and 3, Blessed is he that readeth and they that heareth the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand, and we see it, man. The time is at hand. And just to get another scripture, who is the spirit of prophecy? Let's get it. And I fell at my feet to worship him, Revelations 19 and 10. And he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Worship God, for the testimony of Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy. And Ezekiel 38 is being done right in our faces, man. You know what I'm saying? It's being built up right in our face. Okay? Hey, man. It's a, it's a good day to be a believer and be a faithful person, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, but keep reading. Erdogan said Russia and Turkish energy authorities will work together to designate the best location for the gas distribution center. Adding that Turkey's Thrash region bordering Greece and Bulgaria appear to be the best spot. You know? And if they sanitize the Turk stream, oh man, you know what I'm saying? Just more fire, just more wood on the fire, just more heat, man, you know. Together with Putin, we have instructed our Ministry of Energy and Natural Resources and the relevant institution on the Russian side to work together, said Erdogan, who on Thursday met the Russian president on the sidelines of a summit in Kazakhstan capital, Astana. So I don't need to read no more of this. You know what I'm saying? Russia and Turkey, they're going to work together. They're going to be allies in World War Three. You know what I'm saying? Just like it says in Ezekiel 38. Now, there's some other stuff I want to get into before I get Ezekiel 38. 
Um, this morning, the first Typhoon short-range ballistic missile developed by Turkey was tested. The tests were successful. The rocket flew 561 kilometers from Raz to Sinop. So Turkey's um, working on their arsenal as well because, you know, they're a NATO ally. America don't care about its allies. They broke every treaty with the Native Americans. You know what I'm saying? With the Israelites, they broke every treaty. The real Israelites, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? And they're going to turn their back on their NATO allies too, man. You know, they're just not trustworthy people. So Turkey getting ready, you know what I'm saying? Building up their, you know, arsenal because they know what's going to come because of this, you know. Um, State Department warns deepening alliance between Russia and Iran should be seen as a profound threat. You know, and it says in the same scriptures in Ezekiel 38 that Iran will be helping Russia and Russia will defend them. Just like it says, you know, the same thing about Turkey in Ezekiel 38. So like I said, the wheels keep on turning. How about Shem Shah's words not coming back void? So let me play this. During a State Department press briefing on Monday, spokesperson Vedan Patel commented on Iran's influential role in Russia's war in Ukraine. Patel condemned reports from the weekend showing Russia used Iranian drones to attack Kyiv and other Ukrainian cities. He warned that the two countries' deepening alliance should be seen as a threat and there should be sanctions and actions taken against perpetrators. Hello. So, um, can we get you to talk a little bit about um, the U.S. assessment on how influential Iran has become over the past few months in Russia's war in Ukraine? There has been like quite a lot of reporting over the weekend as well. I'm sure you've seen the drone attacks. How big of a role it is playing? What is U.S. assessment? And are you guys thinking about taking action in terms of sanctions? So, uh, to take a little bit of a step back, uh, you, we have been warning since July uh, that Iran was planning to sell UAVs uh, to Russia for use uh, against Ukraine. Uh, we also exposed publicly that Russia has received drones from Iran, uh, that this was part of Russia's plan to import hundreds of Iranian UAVs of various types, and that Russian operators continue to receive training in Iran on how to use these systems. Uh, there's extensive proof of their use by Russia against both military and civilian targets there. And you've all seen the reports, as you mentioned um, this morning, of what appears to be Iranian drones striking downtown Kyiv. Um, Russia deepening an alliance with Iran uh, is something the whole world, uh, should, especially those in the region uh, and across the world, frankly, should be seen as a profound threat and something that um, any country should uh, pay very close attention to. Uh, this is something that we're continuing to monitor closely on our end, and we're in close touch uh, with our allies and partners, uh, including those in the United Nations, to address Iran's dangerous proliferation of weapons to Russia. Uh, and anyone doing business with Iran that could have any link to UAVs or ballistic missile developments or the flow of arms from Iran to Russia should be very careful and do their due diligence. Uh, the U.S. will not hesitate uh, to use sanctions or take actions uh, against perpetrators. Uh, I don't have specific actions to read out or preview, but this is something that uh, we're continuing to pay very close attention to. Pull up on that. You know, and these Americans, man, they're hypocrites because they're sending billions of dollars to Ukraine to help fight Russia. They're sending weaponry down there, you know, so Russians' allies are doing the same thing, man. You know, tat for tat, man, tit for tat. You know, it's war, man. Okay, so got that out the way. Now I want to get this. No boots on the ground. You were duped again. A captured Ukrainian soldier says that U.S., England, Italy, and Poland already have guys on the ground so what are they talking about you know let's play this you know it's just it's turning up man Англия. Вы завели семь групп. Каждая группа 20 человек. 
Ну, приблизно там 15, 17, 20. То есть больше 100 человек лично вызовели. Да. Балаклия. Как? Балаклия. Семенюка. Шевченкова. Купинск. И остальные перестовые. Среди них были офицеры действующие? Да. да. Были? Угу. Каких стран? Америки, Англии были, Польши были. То есть это были действующие офицеры вооруженных сил Америки, да. Англии. А в каких званиях? Э -э, лейтенант, э -э, подполковник один был. Если бы иностранцы нам не помогли, мы бы распалися сразу. У нас дуже мало і у нас дуже, і у нас дуже много неопитних бойців. There you have it, man. So, hey, man, it's turning up out there. You know, um, let me get Ezekiel 38, it's a powerful scripture, because it talks about, you know, in the last days that we're in right now, it's happening right in front of our face, everything that it says. And the word of Yahweh Basham Meshach came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubo, and prophesy against him. And if you get an old map of the Bible, man, old map, this is prophecy of the last days, and um, you just, you know, you link it up. You know, Gog and Magog's right here. This is Russia. Okay. Now going back to the scripture. It says, and say, thus say, how about some shot? Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubo. But I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. I will bring thee forth in all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So... Yahabash and Mashiach is the one that pulled Russia into war. He put a hook in their jaw, and he's yanking them into war, man. They can't stop it. It's inevitable, man. Persia? Ethiopia and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Persia. You know what I'm saying? This is Iran. You know, with Gog and Magog, man. Google search Persia. 1935. Name change. That's all you gotta look up, man. 1935. Name change. You know? Why did Persia change its name to Iran in 1935? In 1935, the Iranian government requested that those countries which it had diplomatic relations with to call Persia Iran. Persia's right here. And guess what? That's where Iran's at. You know what I'm saying? It says, Ethiopia and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet, Gomar and all of his bands, the house of Togoma of the North Quarters and all of his bands and many people with thee. Who is Gomar and... uh? The house of Togoma, go to this map, Meshek, okay, Togoma, that's where Turkey is, okay, and uh, going back, it says, um, be, be thou prepared, okay, be thou prepared, you know, how was Turkey getting prepared, <laughs> typhoon, short range, ballistic missiles, man, that's how they getting prepared, how is Iran getting prepared? You know, they're working on their nuclear arsenal. They're not signing no more nuclear treaties. You know what I'm saying? That's how they're getting prepared. And prepare for thyself thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee. And be thou a guard unto them. So Gog and Magog, Russia is going to be a guard unto Togoma, Turkey, and Persia, Ethiopia, Libya. Okay. And in reverse, you know. Turkey's going to be a guard onto Russia because, well, hey, we're going to do this deal. You can run your gas through my pipelines. Iran, hey, we'll send drones over there to help you out with this war. So and everything's being, you know, brought together, man. And it's just a beautiful time to be alive because everything Yahweh Shemeshah said would happen is happening right in front of our faces, man. And, you know, just to get some stuff, Ukrainian war, U.S. says Iranian drones breach sanctions. Iran sends drones, trainers to Crimea to aid. Russian military, um, Ukraine war, Russia denies use of Iranian drones. So war and rumors of wars is going on while war is being propagated. World War Three is being manifested, you know, in the East. Because all this is happening in the East. You know, then Israel's going to get involved. And then World War Three is going to get out of hand. And then Yahweh is going to come, save his people, destroy them, take them out of power, set up the kingdom. So it's all coming to pass. So double honors unto the elders and apostles. Aziz Mesut taught me this truth. And call Halaya Halba Shemeshabashim Kakadash.